hard not to look at a wolf and not think regal and wild and, and it, you know there's that saying that um you know you'll see bears and lions in the circus but you'll never see a wolf they are incredibly smart they have these packs have this really complex method of hunting they howl out to each other and they have like a roll call yeah they're they're beasts they're beasts they f kill for fun like they sport kill Hockey fans, welcome to another edition of Wolves Hockey Show, the number one rated hockey theme show on Lakes Region Public Access. We're in the second episode of season four, in the second half of season four in 2023. We had a great weekend last weekend. Our EHL and EHL Premier teams participated in the January Showcase, which was located here in New Hampshire, played at both the Ice Den and Hooksit, and then about an hour away at the Rinks of Exeter in Exeter, New Hampshire. We had t players participating with the EHLP All-Star Game and it was a great weekend. We'll get to more of that stuff later, but first up, highlights from our EHLP team. They played three games and they won all three at the January Showcase. We got a couple clips we're going to show you and there's that squad coming up for you right now. And a shot by Number 46. There's the uh, Wolves put the first one in the net. You hear them howling back there. That's number 46. Seconds apart, Bird with his second and 16th of the season. Second of the game, Ryan Sember. His fourth. And this is another one by Simber. He utilizes the traffic in front and picks the corner yet again. Simber, his second in a row. The Wolves EHL Premier Team closed out the January showcase with an 8 0 victory over the Little Flyers. All three All-Star players recorded points in the game, including two goals by R.J. Sember and assists for Dominic Stomachevs and Ryan Sember. Way to go, Wolves. So those are some great clips from our EHLP team. Really proud of their efforts so far this season. They've earned their spot firmly in the EHL Premier Power Rankings. And actually, they're behind me right now, participating with some open ice skill sessions so they, they can get ready for some more great games coming up this upcoming weekend. In last week's uh, efforts, they had some great, great results from guys like Owen Courier, who won a couple games in Nets and got his first junior shutout, and also the players who participated in the All-Star game. Guys like Dominic Stomakevs, Ryan Sember, who's one of the youngest players in the league, and his brother RJ Sember. Great job to those guys and looking forward to some continued strong efforts as the season progresses. Now, next team up is our EHL team. They played two games, and they kicked off 2023 in the right fashion, winning both of those games. we got some clips of their, their great efforts coming up for you right now. Here's the overtime game winner, Peretz, the Heath match. Including the one that helped set up the power play tally in which he scored. He wins another. Vasilyevs. Back to the line, and now Bedina, empty net, and a chance for the hat trick, and there it is. Matisse Bedina has himself the hat trick here tonight, and with 39 seconds to go in the game, the Wolves are back up by two, and they're hopeful now that this puts the final finishing touch. So awesome job with the EHL team, guys like Nat Perrett, both of our goaltenders, Trevor Jewell, 
And Cam Reardon, who's made a nice showing. He's actually originally from Berlin, New Hampshire, now living in Guilford, New Hampshire. And since he's joined the squad, has really turned some heads. So great job, Cam Reardon. Now, next up is our player interview for the week. We had some great interviews given at our Exeter Showcase by our EHL players, both Keith Mensch and Matthias Budina, who recorded a hat trick on Sunday. So our EHL player interviews coming up for you right now. Off a great feed from Nat Perret, so can you take us through that overtime winner? Oh, I just, I don't know. I've seen the 5 hole goal in that position a few times, so I decided to try it. I ran to the goalie after a little weird, but it went in, so I'm happy. You looked to the ref right away. Were you a little nervous? No, I was more nervous that they were going to come after me, their team, so I was like, trying to stay strong. Ended sorry. well, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, much needed win for you guys. North Division, best in the league. This is going to help you guys keep pace. How can you build off of this? You know, just keep coming out strong. Try to go one game at a time. Try to keep putting dubs, getting dubs, and that's it. And the North, like I just said, the best division this season. But you guys won 10 out of your first 12 games to start the season. Does that give you guys confidence that no matter where the standings play out, the Wolves can make a run? Yeah, well, we know we can beat the teams. It's just a matter of going out there every night and doing it. So that's all it comes down to. We know we can win. We just got to go prove it. All right, keep it going, Heath. Congrats on the win. Perfect, thank you. Dina scores a hat trick for the New England Wolves as they topple the Connecticut Chiefs. Back-to-back -back wins for you guys here at Exeter. What went right for the Wolves this weekend? Uh, it was important. We had uh, bad games before the break, so we needed to come back, and we have to build, it, build up on it and get some more wins, and let's go strong into the playoffs. Obviously a hat trick for you, playing with a guy like Heath mentioned, just the strength of your line overall. What are your thoughts? I mean, me and Heath, like, there's, like, chemistry. I never had probably and I'm so happy that we have it and Alex Laracy, perfect guy for us as well so it's working and I'm happy. And can you talk about Alex and what he's brought back to the team? I mean he's an awesome player, he has a solid shot, he's good for power plays and he's a warrior, he battles so it's a nice addition to our line. And you're from the Czech Republic and so what has the adjustment been like from you coming to American Hockey? A uh, small ring definitely, that's the biggest, biggest issue when you came from, from Europe. Also, the speed is different, and it's just it's just different. You have to adjust, but I finally did, and it was okay. Thanks again to Matthias Budina and Heath Mensch, both for their outstanding efforts with the EHL team at the Showcase, and also for those EHL player interviews. One of the things that our program takes great pride in is our commitment to community service. We won the Spirit of New Hampshire Award this past fall, and last spring, we won the New Hampshire uh, EHL 21-22 Community Service Award. Really proud of those, the efforts our guys put into making a great representation for this community. But recently, they participated and jumped out with some skill sessions with the Lakes Region Lakers. And we got a couple clips of those, our guys in action helping out some of the youngest athletes in the area. Coming up for you right now. On Tuesday, January 17th, the Wolves junior teams assisted some of the skill sessions with the local youth hockey team, the Lakes Region Lakers. A number of our players came out and ran stations for the local skills session and assisted these players in getting better in their individual hockey games. Great job, guys. So thanks again to our guys who jumped out with the Lakes Region Lakers. Thank you, Dylan Kowalski. Thank you, Tony Tarana. Thank you. Joey Mandel, thank you RJ Sember, thank you Noah Whitehill, thank you Harry Kramer, I think that was it. Thanks for coming out and supporting the guys uh, with our local youth hockey program. I know that they really look up to you guys and they learned some stuff on Tuesday night. Now the upcoming events, our EHL teams in action um, on Thursday, the afternoon matinee, against the New Hampshire Avalanche, that's away down in Hooksit. And then they're chock full of games this weekend. They play four games, two, is, two aside for each, the EHL and the EHL Premier Team. And then a lot of our local athletes who participated in the fall, especially on our U18 split season squad, they got a bunch of high school games, so we wish those guys who are playing high school hockey good luck this upcoming weekend. We hope we can get you back out with the Wolves teams in the fall. And then our big event coming up here later this month on January 28th, we have our JBT game. It's our annual game that we 
partner up with the Cure Starts Now Foundation and raise money for a great cause, combating childhood cancers. Now, as, as you can see in the clip coming up, we're already starting donations. We're eclipsed the $16,000 mark, and we're looking forward to getting our goal of $25,000 to donate to that great cause. We've reached our goal every single year. We've raised over $100,000 for the Cure Starts Now, and this New Hampshire chapter, led by Jesse Thompson, has raised over $1 million for that outstanding foundation. So we want people to jump online, you can go on the World website or some of the stuff we've been sharing on social media, give to one of the shooters, give them an extra puck in the shootout, it makes for a fun night and also a great cause that you're giving to. This local community has been hit by a lot of hardship over the last couple weeks with some recent deaths of some young people in the area. We want to send our heartfelt um, sadness for those families afflicted by these great tragedies. We're really, really sorry for everything that's going on. Hopefully to brighten your spirit and you can come out to a Wolves game, I know that we'll be sharing some information and trying to give to all the causes that we can because uh, these are really tough times for a lot of families. Uh, thanks for tuning in, folks. Hopefully you check out those clips coming up with the JBT game and a previous JBT game. And we hope to see you at the rink with a bright smile on your face sometime soon. Go Wolves! Mark your calendars for January 28th at 7 p.m. The Wolves host the Seacoast Spartans in the annual JBT game. Donate today on the JBT Cure Starts Now website. information on the Wolves program, check out our website, www.me-wolveshockey.com.